Hi guys, welcome once again to a something for the weekend for Martin Lynch and Sons. I'm Gary, M0TIG, and I've been asked to show you some of the new things that are actually come along over the last sort of couple of months. One of the um, really most uh, interesting thing in my eyes are things like the Porter Pack, which is an add-on uh, board for the uh, very popular Hack RF uh, transceiver, which goes from one megs right the way up to six gigs. Um, and people are utilizing this now for the uh, SHL uh, satellite and uh, doing some very clever things with uh, GNU radio. We've also got new things um, like this that have come along from uh, ZUM, uh, ZUM spots. Uh, this is a USB version of, of the very popular ZUM spot um, the RS, uh, sorry, the RAS Pi uh, add on or the look for the Zero WH. Um, and this is a USB version, which this is almost like a direct replacement for the old DV4 Mini, but uses much um, better software um, and is, is, is now proving to be very, very popular. So what I'll do is also, um, we have also are gonna have a quick look at the, um, the Wuxon uh, UV980 or the KG UV980, which is the quad band um, mobile radio from uh, Wuxon, the new one. Um, so let's have a quick look. Okay, well, I think the first thing that we'll look at is this uh, little porter pack uh, kit. As I say, and what you can do is if you double it up with one of these little um, battery packs, it becomes quite a portable um, little receiver. Now, what I'll try and do is I'll do some close-ups in here. What you've um, actually got here is a little tiny um, radio, um, which uh, you can do quite a lot with. Um, you've got a little jog wheel, um, which you can navigate around the, the menu system. This will actually receive some of the beacon outputs from say utility meters, if you're in the US. Um, also tire pressure monitoring systems, it will take the, the um, the beacon from from those um, and also it will actually do some of the um, shipping um, uh, radar and, and location system and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly show you um, I don't know if you can see that there's a little blue screen there with a uh, little waterfall what I'll do is I'll do some close-ups and hopefully we'll be able to slot them in just about here um, but basically you've got a, here you've got a completely portable um, uh, HF right the way through to six gigs uh, receiver. Um, they are doing um, software or, or firmware uh, which is being updated pretty much constantly as people start to, to really play with these things. Um, and it's a really interesting piece of kit. Um, yeah, I, I think this is uh, pretty much a little sign of things to come, just how they're, they're gonna, gonna be in the future. Um, and it's, it's really, really good. You do need a set of headphones um, which um, is in the bottom and uh, unlike uh, Apple they use the 3.5 jack there um, so but you just need sort of like a, a pair of uh, phone buds or something like that so that's the porter pack now moving on now to the zoom the zoom range of, uh, of products um, this one is the, as I was saying earlier, the, about the uh, USB version, but he has also launched a few other, other things at the same time. For instance, we've now got um, an iOS uh, daughter board, which um, the, uh, this is the for, um, basically you take the standard um, version 0.06, I think it is, the one with the screen on, will we'll now drop on the top now. The screen doesn't work with this, unfortunately, and I'm going to speak to uh, Zoom just to make sure that, um, you know, in future, maybe that's going to be a feature. Um, but what this does mean is you can now use your iPhone to connect to this using Blue DV, um, and you can get yourself basically a connected hotspot. Um, it doesn't do D-Star um, again. Um, I don't know what it is about iPhone and D-Star, but they don't seem to mix very well. But you know that uh, that is also new. Um, but it does now mean that there is now an option for iOS users to, to maybe get uh, DMR and C4, um, which is really good. So and 
also he's at the same time he's launched the android version um, which again it does exactly the same thing but the addition with this one is the the um the blue dv software is slightly more extensive so you could you can use dstar and you can use um, other modes on this using the same sort of system um and again the screen doesn't work with this um unless i'm doing sort of something wrong um the screen doesn't doesn't work with this particular board so um that is a that's a consideration then there might be some other things you can do using something like um, one of the dv megas or something with the with the little oled screens on okay so what else is new um sdr play have um, brought out now a scanning um, piece of uh, or an add-on for their their software and um, they're also bringing out the um, ability to connect over the internet to various servers across the world which again is really really useful um, fantastic uh, fun um, so you know they're, they're obviously going from strengths to strengths and uh, it's it's a, it's a really really neat product um, let's move on now to the Wuxen um, KG UV 980 now what do you get in the box well you get a mobile bracket um, which is pretty standard um, you get a dash mount which is uh, for the uh, face-off kit which is somewhere in there so you get the cable and the actual um, the dashboard mount so you can take the front of the radio off and actually put it on the dashboard now i like these radios they're actually really really good and great value for money and um, this is going to give you four bands i think it's four six and uh, two and seventy um and it's really really popular with uh, with the raynet guys um it's it's good value for money as i say and it gives you quite a lot it's, it's quite a good power all the details for this are actually on our website at www.hamradio.co.uk um and uh, just say pop along there just have a look at the, the details i've actually updated a majority of uh, of that uh, that page so there's all the details on it you do get programming um, a programming cable and they do supply it with a disc however um, I probably wouldn't use the disc I would actually go direct to the um, either to our website where I'll put the links and everything onto the latest software um, for um, updating um, your channels and that sort of stuff so you can program the radio right from the from the get-go um, so you get the programming and all software now there is a manual however the manual at this time of doing this video is not quite up to date um, i am speaking to Wuxen about it and they are actually working on it this is actually still really kind of refers back to the older model the 950 um, like i say they they are working on them it is a known uh, thing now obviously there's a bit more to the face-off uh, kit um, and you get a dtmf microphone um here which i'll take out for you sorry about the crackling um yeah it's a, a really really um good microphone um i absolutely um love the uh, the, the sort of quality of uh, wooks and uh, stuff it's you know okay it's all built to a budget but uh, you know wooks and seem to be you know really really good at doing some good quality stuff and uh, their their microphones are pretty pretty good again it just uses a standard sort of modular um plug what else have we got oh the radio so oh you get a bag of fittings mic clip screws that sort of stuff now the radio itself you see um again they've the some of the sort of facelift mods the actual internals are very similar to the 950 um i'm told um however the um you've got two speakers um, they have done a bit of a facelift you've now got some buttons across the top which you can program to do pretty much what you want um i've actually programmed this one to allow me to to adjust the squelch and stuff really easily um and you've got a lock button on the top as well and they're slightly less in the way of buttons on the front you've got sort of uh, up and down uh, menu and the band controls and then you've got escape but then there's your two volumes um on the side you've got a programming port which you put your um your red cable in that's where you program it um, a lot of people make the mistake of actually plugging it in the microphone port no don't do that it doesn't work right <laughs> um what else has the radio got on the back of the radio you've got a standard so239 port 
Um, and on the other side here, you've got a left and right speaker. You can assign those speakers to either, you know, VFO1 or VFO2, so you can, you know, split everything off. And like I say, this does um, four bands, uh, four, six, two and 70. And uh, as I say, all the spec is available on our website. So, um, what else should we look at? Um, I think probably what we'll do is have a very, very brief look at the um, the new Anan 7000 DLE, which has got a built-in i7 PC. Now this is um, really quite a nice bit of kit. Uh, I, I, I like it. I'm not so sure about the styling, um, but the performance is quite exceptional. Um, it's, uh, it's a really, really nice uh, performing radio. Um, so what I'll do is I might actually split that one off into a separate video, um, and I might even take that home and maybe show you it actually up and running. Um, on, on the bench. Um, it's, as I say, that is a worthwhile look at uh, radio. Again, it's new to um, Martin Lynch and Sons. It's literally just out um, and we've got plenty of stock. So if that interests you, then do give us a call here at the store. So that pretty much um, leaves me to sort of uh, wrap up, I think. Um, as I say, you know, we've got these porter packs in stock. Like I said earlier on, you do need the Hack RF um, board. So if you don't have that, you will need to purchase that. And then, then what you do is it comes with all the kit necessary to make up this, this little unit. We do carry these batteries in stock if you need those. Um, and yeah, we've got plenty of Hack RFs. If you don't have one of those, um, we've got these in stock. Um, but these are absolutely brilliant. I, I, I love these. They're really, really good, really handy. Um, and I have mine up and running in about three seconds. Um, so I'll leave that there. Um, I'll come back, as I say, and I'll do the video on the Anand 7000 DLE. Um, but I will take that home and actually do that on the, on the, on the bench. Okay, well, that just leaves me really to say thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to visit our website, www.hamradio.co.uk, and give us a call if you need to on 0345 2300 599. Thanks for watching. Many thanks. Bye-bye.